Hooray! Are you ready? Hope you are, because I'm already on her on the air, I right? should say. <laughs> Switched my microphone on and camera. And actually the microphone sits in the <clears throat> little like hole in my laptop. It's not even seen uh, if, if I don't if I even move closer my muzzle closer to the uh, front part, lower part of my screen of my laptop that I <clears throat> Anyway, don't see that her being there, but it's there. It sits there, and her, her catch sounds that I produce that are produced by my silly head and kind of speaking apparatus, which consists of her like tongue, mouth, and her ears. <laughs> Do you remember that video? Like her Will Smith was sm smacked. Uh, uh, some dude was talking rudely about his uh, uh, Will Smith's uh, wife and uh, something uh, shameful and uh, not decent and once he said a thing uh, Will Smith pop up, uh, popped up or <coughs> uh, on the scene uh, and uh, smacked that guy severely so that that guy he actually fell or half fell on the uh, boards <laughs> all that uh, scene of uh, event and uh, um, it's pretty brave and uh, he did, uh, didn't think at the time uh, what it was just acted uh, defended his wife was decent or uh, decent, uh, decent doing I should say man very manly and uh, guys I tell you what actually I sometimes I'm uh, like uh, brooding, uh, not talking too much. Sometimes I'm running, rushing through things, and uh, try to be as uh, um, like eloquent guy <laughs> in my session of speaking as I only can because I want to pack a lot of a lot of words into small small amount of time. And sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, and uh, it's like practice that happens. Uh, regardless of my mood and regardless of what I want to say or I don't want to say anything at all, at all that just happens no can do because this my thing this is excuse me my thing my American English and uh, I cannot um, even realize for what I've been given this touch of getting through it and uh, exposing myself to this practice and this kind of natural way of things going and uh, I like it a lot because uh, uh, when I do it I feel like something uh, good happens to me, Some, some something comes out to me and I feel good and uh, in the process, in the uh, anticipation uh, of this happening after war, afterwards and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not learning new words anymore uh, except for the time when I practice translation maybe occasionally I do pick up one or two words at a time and uh, no, not more than that and that and because of that I forgot uh, maybe uh, not completely forgot uh, not completely forgetting those words they uh, came out of the picture of my usage of those words because I don't feel it like separate entity any longer I mean American English it's not even a language it's not even something that I can take and uh, put it down it's like always within me and uh, once I'm uh, not I'm not even in, in kinda uh, um, thinking whether I'm ready to do that, whether I'm not ready to do that. When I hear some flow of some American English, especially American English, because I love American English for its beauty, for its sound, and for its sounds, for a variety of words being used there. It's a much more different from British version of English, where it's like more dry language, more dry, like like someone dry, dried it up and uh, it became dry and uh, not living thing for me, for my perception, for my uh, <clears throat> engaging apparatus when I feel it, I mean American it's all like beauty and all this, uh, I got fluttered <laughs> flooded uh, with words and music of this uh, uh, version of English, American English and that happens to me regularly regularly, and I get, get kick out of it every time I'm there I get, I'm getting kick out of it every like evening if not uh, every every evening it said every evening and, or almost every evening I do sessions of uh, watching news uh, CNN Bloomberg, Bloomberg and I don't feel uh, like they speak even like it was just some, some <laughs> voices and uh, activities going on there 
and I hear a set of sounds being produced there. It's not a, it's not American English. It's language, my own language, my own. You know, like mm, not rendering your head, not uh, trying to. If I don't get some pieces uh, here and there, that I skip them on the fly. Uh, like a uh, <clears throat> most pi most picture being made there, m most of the picture being made there, I get it on the fly. What I don't get on the fly, I don't regret about it. That just kind of my brain uh, decides uh, on its own what to do with those. Uh, some uh, pieces get uh, get lost. Some pieces uh, are in the frame of the picture of the uh, profile of what has been followed right now, and uh, it doesn't need to be rendered. It's all like sounds. They all naturally go in my backbone and it's all there and became meanings. And uh, I, uh, that uh, where I quit following like. Uh, uh, word by word correspondence was that means uh, because in li in live stream you do not not have your time of doing so it's only uh, like um, picture that has been grasped in a moment and rendered without rendering rendering uh, rendered without rendering in a moment and it's all there in those uh, microseconds there in your body being minutes not words for any longer I hope I made I made it clear and uh, I don't know guys let it be uh, like this this session of talking and speaking and communicating to you and uh, it's good practice to always like uh, repetitively uh, repeat what's been learned and like recently I learned what I learned uh, on their own recognizance uh, the full sentence uh, blatantly, blatantly, it's uh, without thinking too, mu too much what other people might think or feel about your doings and uh, the word uh, um, even score uh, like uh, to revenge for example like something like that guys never learn separate words never learn whatever that it goes to language learning feel it, live it and uh, be that Thing. be that thing it's better uh, definition uh, than uh, anything else I invented it and I don't give the right to use it and not to use it uh, this definition use your own figure out your own definition of what you do with your American English and be that thing be there pra not even practice live it every day I'll be with you since I release something good and shitty for you and uh, as soon as I get something uh, new and uh, yummy on my mind I'll be all on it to familiarizing you with that stuff uh, being the picture our current video should of our adorable American English practice and guys I don't fucking know what you're doing where practicing my American bed that's not already read the shit I'm my floor right now just block away and more things that I what I want be good peace out be always good still run guys and girls thanks for being in my life follow my channel be good thanks again pleasure